Genetic testing has come a long way towards being able to predict and proactively prevent future disease. And Dr. Tracy Lynn Hart from Peaks of Health is back to talk about the advanced testing that they are able to provide. Welcome back, how are you? I'm oh, great, how are you doing? I'm well, we, we love chatting with you. I never know where our conversations are gonna go. And this one's something we haven't talked about yet, but I know you're passionate about. You've got the education, of course, examples to back it up. What's genetic testing and how can it help people in the future? Well, now we're doing a lot of DNA testing. You can find out all kinds of things, but one of the things for brain health we're looking at is do people have the Alzheimer's gene or some of these other genes that can predispose them to some of these conditions? What are the things that you look for when it comes to like Alzheimer's? Like it runs in my family, so what are some of the tests that you know I would be able to, yeah. to get? Well, you know, one of the reasons I'm so passionate about it is my father passed of Alzheimer's, so I've done a ton of research into this. So we not only look for the DNA, we look to see if people are predisposed to that DNA being turned on, so to speak, whether okay. they have some of these infections that they found out trigger Alzheimer's, like HSV-1, HSV-6, which are herpes viruses. Oh. Um, and we also look to see if diabetes is another one that hugely triggers Alzheimer's. So if they're pre-diabetic, we start looking for that. And then there's antibodies you can actually test for in the blood now for against the brain. So these antibodies are kind of new. Um, they're not available all the time. So now there's some testing that has come available to the public instead of just university settings. You were talking before we got started too, there's kind of a correlation that you found between what people have referred to as leaky gut in the brain. Explain what this correlation is and how you're able to use that to help some of your patients. Well, most people have heard of leaky gut. Well, again, we always say leaky gut, leaky brain sometimes. So the same thing that destroys the gut barrier can actually ruin the blood brain barrier. And the blood brain barrier protects the brain from things that should not get in there, like these viruses. So we can actually test for antibodies against the blood brain barrier to see if it's been opened, again, to see if that person is susceptible. And if the person is susceptible, is that where you see things like possibly Alzheimer's? Exactly, like early signs of Alzheimer's, the symptoms, and we can actually test for antibodies to amyloid plaque, which is what causes Alzheimer's. So what about any other diseases? Of course, that's kind of our focus. I can tell we're, we're bonding over that. What are some of the other diseases that you look for? So we can test for antibodies against peripheral neuropathy, against myelin sheath destruction, which is multiple sclerosis. So we can actually see if this damage is being done before the actual damage is really done. Okay, so we see what the, if the damage is there or the potential is there, where do you go next? Then we start trying to not only if it's a virus, we kind of go after the virus. If it's something else, you know, if it's diabetes, we really go after the diet to clean it up. And then if the blood-brain barrier is open, we go to close it. You make it sound so simple. Is it simple? No, it's not simple. It takes a <laughs> process to do, but it is doable. And it's amazing. The patients are getting better, you know, as we systematically start treating these things that we can find now that we just didn't know existed before. I'm curious, is this something that you see a lot in your practice as, as people are wanting to know more about their makeup when it comes to genetic testing? We're seeing more and more of it. I think a lot of it is because we do have poor diets and we do have a lot of GI issues and things like that. We're seeing a lot more of people with things like memory issues. You know, Not only do hormones play a role and we do a lot of hormones, but a lot of these other things we're finding now play a role. You know, you and I, every time we sit down, we talk about how busy we are. And, you know, people at home are busy, too. When is it time to pick up the phone, though, and make time to, like, talk with yourself and kind of get information? What are some of those red flags that people may be experiencing in their life that they should act on and, and pick up the phone? Well, again, if they are having memory issues or if they're, you know, going into any kind of menopause or andropause, you know, and hormonal issues, if they start getting into their 30s, I mean, a lot of these start sh changes start shifting about that time. If they're not feeling good, if they're tired, you know, a lot of things, there are things that are happening at that moment in time that could be the cause. I know you and I could sit and chat for a very long time. That's why also you do seminars. I yes. know you've got another one coming up. Yeah, we do have a brain health seminar coming up on the 19th. And again, that's gonna be answering a lot of questions for patients. If they come to that seminar, they can get $100 off the new patient visit. Um, so, you know, I think it's gonna be very, very beneficial because this is something a lot of us are concerned about as we get older. Well, there's the information right now for not only that special offer, but of course that seminar. So if you want any more information from Peaks of Health, well, there you go. It's all on your screen. As always, we appreciate your time. Well, thank you.